Alrighty guys, we have three stocks to go over in this video that I believe are on the verge of breaking out. Now, are they guaranteed to break out? No, nothing's guaranteed guys, especially in the stock market. And if anybody tells you something's guaranteed in the stock market, completely turn around and walk the other way. These stocks are not guaranteed to break out, but the charts are looking pretty good and we're going to break them down in this video. So if you all find value, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe because we're almost at 30,000 subs guys. And I feel like we could get there in the next couple of days so make sure to do that and to get your free stocks from Moomoo up to 16 stocks each up to 2,000 bucks using that link down below or by going to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo check out all the details down below we'll talk more about that later and with that being said guys cheers let's dive right into the video so right now when I'm making this video it's about what time is it 12 p.m. so we're uh we're pretty much halfway through the day well not quite yet uh but we're getting there guys and the markets in general are doing pretty well at except for the Russell, and I guess the Dow is at break-even, so the Dow's not doing crazy well. I mean, it's up, uh, you know, 24, uh, 24 points right now, up 0.1%. We have the Russell down 0.2%, so it is down a little bit, but we have the NASDAQ, as expected, with Meta exploding, a bunch of other tech stocks. The NASDAQ is up 1.4%, and we have the S&P 500 up around half a percent. To give you guys a quick perspective or a quick glance here at what stocks are moving on the watch, list before we break down the three stocks that I want to go over for the video. We have companies like American or not American. Oh, geez, guys. Applied Materials. I don't know where I got American from. Uh, Applied Materials. This stock is up over 7% today, completely breaking out. We have Meta, of course, up around six and a half, seven percent which we talked about this one earlier. And at one point, I think it was up 10%, which, which was just unbelievable. So Meta's up a lot today. We have companies like CCL, Carnival Cruise Line. They're up 6%. We have NVIDIA. Oh man, NVIDIA keeps on going, guys. Now it's up 3% on the day. It's pushing the highs from a couple of you know days ago or about two weeks ago at this point. About 470 uh, is where it's at now. 480 was that high from about two weeks ago, 10 days ago. So a lot of stocks, and there's way more than just that. A lot of stocks are moving. We have Google up again, Shopify, which we'll talk about today, and a lot of other ones. So we might as well just dive right into the video, guys. Guys, with stock number one being CrowdStrike, ticker symbol CRWD. And let me tell you guys this, right off the bat, this stock's been very choppy over the past couple of weeks. I mean very choppy from the beginning of June to where to where we are now, almost the beginning of August. So the last two months, this thing's gone from 165 to about 140 and it's been shopping in this $20, $25 window for quite some time. You guys can see, you know, it's been uh, chopping around there. But at the same time, guys, we've also been holding higher lows, right? You can see this. We've been holding an uptrend for uh, for a couple of months now. And look at this. Ever since the end of uh, May, early June, we've also been getting rejected at about 160 to about $163 pretty religiously guys i mean pretty much every time we've tested it we've gotten rejected so what does this put CrowdStrike in. This puts it in an ascending triangle. And mind you, it's up 1.5% at the time that I'm making this video. So it's up on the day and we're digging deeper and deeper into this triangle and we're above the moving averages on this time frame. So we could be arguably breaking out any moment now, are we breaking out right this second? No, we're not. I mean, yes, we're doing pretty well, but we're still under 160. But the second crowd strike starts to move past 160, 165, that's where I think we're going to just shoot through the moon. Maybe not through the moon. I don't want to be a hype beast on this video, guys, or hyping up the stock or anything like that. But we could be getting a breakout. Let's just say that. And they have earnings coming up. Actually, I don't know exactly when. It looks like they reported last in the end of May, so probably in the next couple of weeks here, CrowdStrike's reporting, and it looks like they're going to be doing $0.56 cents in EPS, which is above the $0.36 cents from last year, and their revenue is going to be well above last year's number. Looks like they're going to do $724 million versus last year's $535 million of revenue, and that's up 35%. It's projected to be year over year. That is intense. So CrowdStrike, CRWD doing pretty well today. We have a triangle, also arguably a cup and handle. You guys see that right here, cup, boom, 
handle right here. So let's see if we can break 160, 165, and see where it could go from there. Now, the next one I want to talk about is one that I kind of mentioned a couple of minutes ago very quickly. It's Shopify, and I've covered this one a lot on the channel, and I want to do an update on it as it is up about 2.2% right now, and I'm filming at 12, 10 p.m., on the East Coast. So Shopify is up to 66 bucks right now. It's up a dollar 50 and what we're noticing is this is also in an ascending triangle. You see all these higher lows being made at the same time that we have resistance at about 67, 68 bucks. Yeah, that's what's going on right now on Shopify, guys, and we're right at the 50 SMA literally right now and we're testing that 67 6750 level, which not only was resistance a couple of days ago, but also from back in the beginning of July, from June, right? Middle June, end of June, early June as well. So the, the point here is, guys, if Shopify could break above 67, 6750, this one could be off to the races. And they report earnings very soon. Like, like we said with CrowdStrike, we don't know exactly when those earnings are out yet. Uh, but for Shopify, these earnings are coming out on the 3rd of August, I believe. And I just set my alert at 67.50. Let me see here. I believe 3rd of August, right? 2nd of August. Excuse me, guys. So even earlier than I thought, 2nd of August after the bell is when they're going to be reporting, which might actually be, is that next uh, Wednesday or Tuesday, I forget. Either way, whatever day that is, 2nd of August, get ready. So they're looking to do $0.06 cents in EPS versus the negative $0.03 cents from last year. So they're going from losing money to now making profit uh, of $0.06 cents per share. That's the projection. And revenue is looking to be $1.62 billion versus the one3 from last year. So that's actually uh, you know up 20, 25% from last year, which you, you got to be honest, that's a pretty good number, pretty good growth there uh, for Shopify. And look, the stock's been doing very well. You all probably know that. And this setup looks really bullish, in my opinion, heading into earnings. And mind you, we already broke out a couple of uh, days ago or two weeks ago, whenever that was. Uh, we kind of got pump fake there. We pulled back. Now we're starting to bounce again. Let's see if we get the full on breakout yet again. My alerts at 67.50. We'll see if it plays out, guys. And the last one on the longer time frames doesn't look that great. I'll be honest. It's Macy's. But it is slowly starting to turn around. We're bottoming out. And you guys can see we're approaching 17, which has been the high here for a good month and a half. You guys can see that uh, here on Macy's. And at the same time, you guessed it, higher lows have been made. So we have, you guessed it, an ascending triangle on Macy's here since pretty much the end of May, early June which you can see here in my alert set at $17, guys. And mind you, it's up 2.7% right now when I'm filming, which is great. It's beating all the indexes as of today right now, which in the grand scheme of things, does that really matter? No, but for a short-term trader, it, it kind of does matter, guys. And we're heading in the right direction. And like I said, 17 bucks is where my alert's at. If that breaks, we could be off to maybe 19, 20 bucks in the short term, 19 being right here, the high from the end of March, early April, also from the middle of March. So I'm telling you, even though on the four hour, we're still technically downtrending, which we are, uh, it doesn't mean we can't have rallies within the downtrend. And who, and who knows, maybe we start to break out. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And that's pretty much it for the video. Those are the three stocks, CrowdStrike, Shopify, and Macy's that I'm looking at right now, midday. And uh, yeah, with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. We're almost at 30,000 subs. And subscribing on YouTube is completely free, guys. So hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you all, as always. And don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo, Moo, the sponsor of today's video, up to 16 stocks, each up to 2,000 bucks. Just use that link down below. Open up your account and fund it with at least $100. You get five stocks right off the bat. And if you fund it with at least $1,000, you get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. And listen to this, guys, the best part of the promo. Get on this right now. If you fund it with at least $5,000, you also get on top of those 15 stocks a free share of either Tesla stock or Expedia stock, which makes this promo a no brainer. So use that link down below. I appreciate you all as always, as that is an affiliate link, full disclosure. And with that being said, cheers. I'll see you in the next video.